We continue to preview the 2024 college football season. Our stop today is Orange City, Iowa, and we get to visit with Matt McCarty from the Northwestern Red Raiders. Coach, I know that uh, you know we don't always get to break news here on a preview, and I think feel like we're going to talk about that a little bit, some breaking news, or close to that in just a moment. But first, let's look at last season really quickly. 14-1, and one, another trip to the national championship game. You come up a little short against Kaiser there in, in the rematch, but all in all, a, a fantastic season. And I think, uh, again, that Northwestern really is a program that is among the elite at this point. Yeah, last last season was a special season. You know, coming off a national championship, I, I was really proud uh, of how our guys handled that and and the work that they put in and just the way that they handled expectations. Uh, you know, they started the season as the number one ranked team. You know, they went through the entire season uh, staying ranked number one, um, and they really handled those expectations really well. They really focused on the way that they did things yet, and we saw a lot of growth throughout the season. We had to replace some really key players from that national championship team on both sides of the ball. And the team really grew from week one, uh, you know, to really our 15th game of the year last year. Um, Had a big win on the road in week two, knocking off uh, Drake, who was an FCS playoff team. And things really took off from there. And, yeah, we came up short in the championship game, but really proud of how our guys battled. We were down 17-0. We made it a 24-21 game in the fourth quarter. And, you know, Kaiser was a really good football team, and then they, they were able to finish that game. But, you know, I think as you look back on the season, it was an awesome experience and an awesome season for that group. 14-1, and one, again, the final record for 2023 and a fantastic season overall. Now, Coach, to some news that I saw online about, a, I say, a week and a half or so ago, and then I guess it really became if official yesterday and you all had some uh, a statement about it Jalen Gramstad had a statement about it so let's go to it the uh, the quarterback that took the Red Raiders to the national championship in back-to-back seasons and an NAI player of the year in Jalen Gramstad is looking to well maybe just try something new as he has headed over to the University of Nebraska the Division One Cornhuskers, and he's going to be uh, you know, trying out for that, walking on and seeing what he can do this next season at Nebraska. Talk about that a little bit. It's really an awesome experience and opportunity for Jalen. Um, yeah, it really came up about a week ago. Uh, you know, last Monday, uh, you know, it, it really kind of took off. And as we worked through that with Jalen, you know, we just kind of realized the opportunity that it was for him. Um yeah, you know, it's, it's tough losing your starting quarterback and the national player of the year and uh, in middle of June. Um, but again, it's it's something that it's a great opportunity for Jalen. And, and as we walked through that with him and, and talked through that with him and uh, we, we, we realized that that's what's best for him. And that's what that's one of us. It's a tough situation. Right. But it's one of those. It's our commitment to our players. You know, we tell our players that, hey, you know, one of the first meetings we have, we tell our players, you know, our commitments to you is we're going to help you be your best and, and we're going to love you and do everything we can to just to help you. And, uh, you know, I think a, a good testament to that, to that is, is what can you what do you what do you do for those kids when they really can't help you anymore? And uh, I think the right thing to do is to help Jalen, you know, finish up at Northwestern and get to Nebraska and, and open up that door for him. And it's an awesome opportunity for him. And so I'm super excited for him. Uh, he, he's an awesome kid. He's a winner, um, and he, he's been fantastic for us. And I know he'll be great there because of the person that he is. It really is, and and it's one of those things, Coach. I mean, it's a high profile move. Uh, we both mentioned it: the NAI National Player of the Year making move to a, a program that historically, maybe not as much of late, but historically, has really been a, a, a dominant program on the national scale. So I know it's something that we'll be talking about throughout the remainder of the summer and and into this upcoming season but then that leads us to where you are now uh at with with offense obviously as you mentioned you know it's a player that uh, you know right here in the middle of june now we're talking about okay what what are we going to do uh, for the future at least one thing you know about for sure on the offensive side of the ball connor mcquillan is coming back and he had a fantastic year for you that ground game that he was a big part of he'll be back this season tell us a little bit about him and the rest of that offense Connor had an outstanding season last year, and, and Connor is really one of the most dynamic players in the NAI. You know, I think he um, led the NAI in all-purpose yards last year. He, he's great running the football, but also great catching the ball out of the backfield. And we also returned Logan Meyer as a, his teammate in the backfield, and so we got a really great duo back there. Um, 
And we really offensively, we, we lose a, a couple guys in the offensive line, um, but we return Travis Grover, who was a starter for us in uh, the 2022 national championship game and, and wasn't, didn't play last year um, and has returned now this year. And that's a big piece for us at right tackle. And so I thought we saw some great growth on our offensive line throughout the spring. And that group, I think, is, is really playing great football as we left spring ball. And so that's really, really exciting. And then we return our tight end. I think Peyton Carroll is a, is a great weapon at tight end. And, um, you know, at receiver, we have Ty Schaefer back and Austin Gerard, who really came on at the end of the year, had, had some big touchdown catches in, in all of our playoff games and the national championship game. You know, Austin was phenomenal this spring. I think he's going to be a difference maker for us out there. And in the first week last year, we lost Tanner Scout into a torn ACL. Um, and so Tanner's back and Tanner's a, a great threat for us. He had started the year before at receiver for us and really missed him all last year. We, we missed his his ability to go deep for us. Um, so we re- we feel really good about the talent we have offensively. You know, the, the player who steps in at quarterback uh, isn't going to have to do everything. He's going to have a great core around him. And I think for us, that's really comforting. Um, we, we know we have some really talented players, and I know the guys that we have, they'll, they'll be locked in and ready to go. We're speaking now with Matt McCarty, who is the head football coach for Northwestern here on Midwest Sports Net. And we encourage you, please subscribe to the channel. We enjoy talking about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. Coach McCarty completed his 100th game, by the way, uh, in last uh, last year in that national championship game. 81 and 19, coach. What a record. I mean, that's, uh, and it's easy to figure out the percentage there. An 81% winning percentage uh, in your time at Northwestern. That, that's incredible. And, and congratulations on what you've been able to do there. Now, heading into your ninth year, Tristan Mulder coming back on the defense, a solid linebacker for you last year. Tell us a little bit more about your defense. Yeah, really excited about our defense and, and just the way that, um, that they've improved throughout the spring. I, I think returning quite a few on that group. We return all four guys in the secondary. We have four seniors that start in the secondary for us last year or ne- this next year. And then Cody Mosier returns. He led the country to interceptions last year as a safety for us. He's really a great playmaker and leader on the back end. Um, Kyler Fritz played a lot as a freshman for us in the, in the postseason. And so we have some experience there in the secondary. But like you said, Tristan Mulder is an outstanding linebacker. Um, Tristan is going to move into middle linebacker for us this next year. And I think that's been a really good fit for him as we went through spring football. And then we returned Ben Egley on the outside. Uh, a big key for us, you know, defensively, where I think we're going to take a big step is we returned Parker Fryer. Um, Parker was an All-American for us uh, in 2022, was our conference player of the year. And then last season played at University of South Dakota. And he's coming back to Northwestern to finish his, his uh, fifth year. And so adding Parker back, you know, Parker's really one of the best defensive players, I think, in the country at our level. Uh, that, that's a big boost for our defense. And then up front, it really starts interiorly for us. Um, you know, Jacob Drake's or Tristan Voss are outstanding inside. And and I think, you know, Drake Harder returns as a fifth-year senior with some experience at defensive end. Um, and we've got some really good young guys and some some guys ready to compete at our other defensive end spots. So a lot of experience returns on that side of the football. You know, I think for us, as we, as we go through this early part of the year, we're going to hang our hat on our defense and, and how those guys play. Coach Eli Stater last year, he was the kicker for you, but uh, last season as well, the punter too, and did an admirable job on, in both facets of the special teams game. Yeah, Eli's great. You know, I, I love Eli. Eli's been a, a really steady kicker for us the last four years and uh, just does an outstanding job. He's a great weapon to have. You know, he, he really grew as a punter as the season went on. Uh, you know, hopefully we don't have to use him a lot as a punter. Um, but he, he does a great job kicking. You know, anytime we cross the 50, we feel like we have an opportunity to score points. Um, and so, Eli, having him back, it's really comforting having a weapon like that. Well, Coach, I mean, obviously the, the news is, has been Jalen Gramstad, and, and I know that uh, throughout the GPAC probably there, there are a lot of uh, coaches or fan bases for sure that uh, say, okay, well, well, maybe there's an opportunity this year. However, with everyone that you bring back and, and who else is going to step up into that role. I, I know that uh, you all are going to do well in 2024. The season gets underway September 7th. That is a Saturday. You're on the road at Hastings as the GPAC schedule gets underway from the, the word go. And then you're back at home. You have uh, Mount Marty uh, the week following that and then Midland. Yeah, you know, it will start out on the road. It'll be a good way for our guys to, to really test themselves with a, a road challenge. You know, it's, it's for us in our league, you know, the trip to Hastings is one of the longer ones. And so for us, 
um, yeah, well, of an experienced group that has done that before and has made that trip and has been able to compete right away out of the gate. And we've got to be ready to go. You know, Coach Franzen has done an outstanding job. Coach Franzen's a really good coach. He's had a ton of success. And, and so we, we've got to be ready to go. And, you know, one of the things that I've been most excited about, you know, over this last week, the unknown, you know, Jalen, is he going to say, is he leaving? And now is he's leaving? It's just the resolve that our guys have and the guys that we have. And I, I know the type of character that we have within our team and our locker room. And I'm really excited about um, just the, the, this group and the way that they'll work together and, and, and really work hard to, to accomplish something special. And so I'm really excited about this fall. You know, I think this group has a chance to do something special. All right, Coach Matt McCarty and the Northwestern Red Raiders, the national runners up in 2023. 14 and one record and they get things started on september 7th coach it's always a privilege to get to visit with you and talk about the the red raiders a fantastic program in orange city iowa success to you all this year is obviously we'll be following along and i'm very thankful for your time today absolutely joey it's always great visiting with you